Oh, there's so much here. There's so much here. So anything can happen. Any, anything can fucking happen right here. I wanna take you for a ride. I wanna take you for a ride. What's up, guys? CJ back for Kung Fu Night once again, and we are back for Attack on Titan. I'm not going to talk too much because this is going to be a declaration of war. That's what this episode is called. Shit's about to pop off this episode. I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm getting right into it. <laughs> All y'all are about to die. あがってしまいました。いいね。あなた方は勇敢です。我々の一族はよく知ってますもの。知る<笑><笑> Today, I think, was that yesterday. Tell him about all the shit that's going on. Hey, this is Annie's dad. How do you know? That's some conviction right there, man. He's not wrong, though. <laughs> okay. So they're all in the ghettos of Marley. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. I'm calling it. That's Connie. His face looked round. That's why I'm saying that. We have Aaron popping up. We have Jean apparently popping up. I'm calling it. That's Connie. Talk some sense into him, man. Can we can you get him on board with the fuck Marley train? <laughs> Is it are these puppets? <laughs> oh, these guys. This is a weird production. Doing everything that they can to depict it though. Hmm. Interesting. This story has had has been spun so many different ways, it seems like. I didn't know that th there was infighting with the Eldians. Eldians. That is not Connie. Where's the Shizuku? Oh! If she has seen him before, then, then clearly he was in Shinganshina, whoever that is. Armin? Is that Armin? That doesn't sound like Armin. Are you, are you expecting something? Oh, shit's about to pop off, man. I feel it. You can feel it. There you go. Now that they're underground, they won't be a problem. Because they can't transform, they'll get stuck. Last four years, maybe? Don't do anything stupid. Yeah, please tell us a little bit more about this. I knew he was bullshit. Who was it? Oh, that's right. Fucking Shizuku and Shinran Shinran. Oh, 
それを受け入れるそれほどまでにエルディア人の犯した罪は重く決してどうかそれだけは許してほしい王は最後にそう言い残しましたどういうことだ Do they anticipate an attack? 戦士を拘束する仕掛けだろうね古典的だけどこの狭さじゃ巨大化できないましてや二人じゃ今の人はわからないでもあの兵士どこかで始祖の巨人の力で作られており盾と矛として平和を守ってきましたしかし近年再び危機が迫っています平和への反逆者その名はエレン・イエーガー He's He's back. Our boy's back. He's calm. He's ready to fuck some shit up. Oh, look at the detail, man. He got the toes growing in. Oh, he's 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 got the Bro, look at all those. Is that what you plan to do? Oh, no, he's not going to do that. I don't know if you're going to do that. I don't know if you're going to do that. I don't know. That's not all your fault, bro. Oh man, you still got some work to do, bro. He's moving some people to tears out here. All those fucking camera flashes, bro. <laughs> Do not end. That, 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 that transformation was so precise. Just like how he could hear where he was exactly as he was below him. Transform and either get that up hand on him and knock this dude out or kill him. <laughs> He's not the Warhammer Titan, I think. Otherwise, he would have more of an ominous kind of like raid boss aura to him. <laughs> that dude is not head head Tiber, uh, Willy Willy Tiber. He is not the Warhammer Titan. I I would say. Otherwise, I think we would have seen him transform right there. Okay. Okay. One thing I'll say is the Titan transformations are so interesting because like, it seems like it's different every other time. Uh, hear me out on this. Most cases, when a Titan transforms, you have the Lightning that comes from the sky down, boom, transformation, mini miniature explosion, stuff like that. With this one with Aaron, he was underground, and it did seem like it just came from underground up. Normally, I, I still exp I would expect for it to come down. I know that's kind of random. Um, you know, that's kind of where I imagine Bertolt's explosion comes from. Um, you know, I don't know. In anyways, um, we're splitting hairs here. This this was amazing. Um, I I, I liked how. Aaron basically said that him and Reiner are the same. I mean, they, I think Aaron is able to empathize with Reiner whenever he did say it is his fault. And he was talking about whenever Aaron's mom got killed, um, you know, Annie, Reiner, and and uh, Bertolt, whenever they were on their mission, Annie and Reiner, sorry, Annie and Bertolt wanted to turn around and Reiner wanted to press forward so he kind of like blamed himself and took responsibility basically for killing um aaron's mother 
right? Uh, but I think Aaron is able to empathize with him on that uh, because he, it's like he's kind of taking responsibility. Yeah, it's not his fault. You know, Aaron did say they, they were just kids. They they were, he was trying to go over there to save the world. And, and from an early age, he was just grilled. He had it grilled into him that they are just Eldian devils over there, right? Um, but... Again, I, I think Aaron is able to empathize because with Aaron, with where Aaron is now and what he's about to fucking do to Marley, I think he is in a way taking responsibility as well. And like, you know, yeah, he doesn't enjoy what he has to do, but he just said he's was his last words. He, I'm going to keep pushing on until my enemies are destroyed kind of a thing. Um, you know, of course, so he still sees him that way that's what he had drilled into him as a kid as well. I don't know if there's a correlation in that. Maybe that's kind of where that alignment or empathy is um, or sense of relation between the two. Um, again, I knew I knew the Hilo story was bullshit. Um, so if I understand this correctly, King Fritz and the Tibers aligned in order to, and they sold out basically all the other El Eldians and Fritz just wanted peace. Uh, Willie Tiber, or, or whoever had the the Warhammer Titan, maybe it was the Tibers at that point. I think maybe they just wanted the fighting to stop too. Excuse me. Um, so that's kind of why they sold out all the Eldians. I guess the Eldians were fighting, according to him. I think that's a really big piece that is like kind of new information uh, with the the whole history of this whole thing. Um, my understanding this whole time was that there was a war of Titans, right? And the way I understood that was the Titans were all in power, right? You have the oppression that was a hundred, hundred years ago, all that stuff. And somehow Marleans just got their hands on some of the Titans and then began to fight Titan with Titan kind of a thing. At some point in this series before this, someone described it in that way. Like, oh, we were able to get control of X amount of Titans, five Titans or whatever. What are there again? Nine? Nine Titans? I don't, I'm not going to count. Nine, whatever. I think it's nine. Whatever whatever it is, they got control of like a majority or some of the more powerful ones um, other than the founding Titan. Um, and we're able to wage war against it. but uh, Or against the, the Titans, pretty much. But... Again, I kind of I, I kind of want to believe a lot of actually maybe, maybe most if not all of Willie Tiber's story here. If you have all these titans in power, and you know there is you know that form of I want to say peace, at least peace amongst Eldians or Titans, like they're all oppressing Marleans and everyone else, right? If you have that, at some point there's going to be a dispute. They're, they're people, right? Um, so I guess it makes sense that you have a lot of those, or it can make sense that you have all these noble families with control of Titans, sides are taken, and then they go to war. And then there's infighting, pretty much. Um, whoever, wh whatever Marleyan that was there took advantage of that, you know, got in cahoots with a, with a Tiber, who I still assume at that point 100 years ago was still... Um, you know, the founding Titan, not the founding Titan, excuse me, the Warhammer Titan, and then they, something along those lines. I need to rewatch it just to try to clean that up. But, um, I, yeah, I like the, the deep dive into the history. Trying to think of the relevance of that very first scene with Annie Bertolt and Reiner as they were talking about the man that took the story or the man that hung himself and Bertolt took his story. I'm trying to figure out the relevance in that with the rest of this episode. So yeah, the three of them were talking about the man that hung himself, and they were trying to they were trying to f figure out why he told them that story before he hung himself. And this is the story of hearing him hearing the footfalls, and then him seeing the Titan at his window or whatever, and I think he just ran away, right? Um, maybe he felt guilt because maybe his family or some other people in his town just got eaten. Um, 
Bertolt said he thought he wanted to be judged by somebody. And then as he said that, it like switched over to like Reiner. Um maybe maybe they're trying maybe the show is trying to tell us that Reiner wants to be judged by someone uh for everything that he's that they've done all the i imagine that tens of thousands thousands of people within the walls that were killed including aaron's mom by titans and with him breaking the wall him taking responsibility or whatever um i, I think that's the correlation and relevance of that very first scene um yeah i think i think reiner's starting to realize right just like aaron was saying like that it's the same in the walls and over here. They are assholes, but they are good people, right? There is no one, you know, side that are, that's just devils, you know? They're not all Eldian devils. He, I guess those words can come out of Reiner's mouth from time to time, but deep down, he doesn't quite believe that. And and that that's I think that's kind of where that struggle is with that, dichot, that, that dichotomy. And I think Aaron is experiencing that same thing you know, but this is kind of how things are. And as Aaron said, he's just going to continue to fight until all, there's, there's still enemies, right? He's still going to fight until his enemies are destroyed. Um, so yeah, maybe we're not, at, maybe we're not at that aligning against Marley concept. The lines are still as they are. Maybe we could even say the lines are blurred um, with what is actually right. But that doesn't mean you stop fighting. Maybe you should, but that doesn't mean you actually do it, or that doesn't mean he's going to do it right then and there. I'd say not all hope is lost for our Eldian alliance between Reiner and um, um, Aaron. Reiner's going to be buried under, yeah. Reiner's going to be buried underneath this mountain of an apartment or whatever. He's going to be buried under rubble, pretty much. Uh, this explosion, Falco. Hopefully he's still, it'll be all right. I think Reiner is going to take care of him here. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I think it'll take some time. Um, this fight's going to be okay. Who's going to be, who's going to be here? This fight's about to pop off. Let me, let me go, let me, let me project to the next episode. Um, everyone's got to be here from paradise. It's just a matter of when they kind of pop up. But when it comes to Titans, Reiner's there. Maybe he'll transform? No. I think Reiner's going to be out of commission for a little bit. Like, he, he's Aaron has to drop on him in a way with this transformation. So, we're going to have Aaron. He fucked up a Tiber. I think a Tiber is going to respond. So, we're going to find out who the fucking Warhammer Titan is. Um, You have Peck and Gilliard. They're out of commission. Um, And they are underground. So... They're not going to be in this fight. Zeke is there. So maybe we'll have Warhammer Titan and Zeke against Aaron. But Aaron will have backup. And Armin. Where the fuck is Armin? They got to be saving Armin for... for. If Armin, was that if, if Armin was that soldier, he's over where Peck and Gilead is. So he's on standby. We know we have him. Where the fuck is Annie? Annie's dad is there. Oh, there's so much here. There's so much here. So anything can happen. Any, anything can fucking happen right here. Where's Annie? Like, what, what, like, I want to see. What, what, why is Annie being gone for four seasons? Three seasons? That's too long for our character to be absent. That's too long. I wish Erwin was here, man. I wish Arun was here so badly. But we, we got to move on. We got Armin as our commander, I guess. Armin's the brains. Is Aaron the commander? Is Armin? I don't know. <sighs> God, there's so much. This, this, nothing but action this next episode. We are literally, actually, we have our first casualty. <laughs> and Willie Tiber, that dude's dead. Come on. Um, uh, uh, I'm I'm rambling too much. What time is it? Yeah, 40 minutes. I gotta gotta I gotta kill this. <laughs> I, I I gotta cut this down. If you enjoyed this reaction, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when the next Attack on Titan reactions are coming out. 
next Sunday, I don't know, 4 o'clock p.m., something like that, Central, we're going to have this reaction out because I'm watching this as soon as it is available at one, whatever time it is. Check out the link in the description for patron tiers if you have some other shows that you want to check out. Gaming channels in the description, check that out. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace. I wanna take you for a ride.